We're going to do a document review for this biological here that we got from the Express Carrier. These come through customs so that we can make sure that people are sending in what they say they're sending in. We want to make sure that everything is declared, it's done the correct way, the proper permits are had, and that way we can transport everything safely to its destination. In the bio program is an agriculture specialist. We look at the documents and we confirm that the documents match what the package says and what the package is. We want to look for the three documents. We have an invoice, a detailed description, and then a statement from the shipper. The invoice gives us the rough estimated cost of what this is. The detailed description tells us what's in the vials and where they're located at in the package and we use that to compare what we see in the package physically to what they say is there. This is what's going to tell what they tell us is in it. They said that it's seven tubes and that it's DNA derived from wolf and it's suspended in an elation buffer. Also declares that it's not hazardous, not infectious and no other toxicity or radioactive. If this wolf DNA was taken directly from wolves, then maybe we would have to involve Fish and Wildlife or a CDC or a different agency, and they might need a permit from them, so then we would allow them time to apply for that permit. This is what we need. I have all the documents that I need. I can release this shipment to go to the importer. Most of this is for research. Almost all of the time we see it going to universities and labs so that they can research on it, and sometimes it's diagnostic. Sometimes there will be an issue that's being had in another country and they don't have the tools or the know-how to diagnose what's going on or what disease is happening. So they send it here for the testing so that we can report that back to them so they can cure. We also communicate with universities and the laboratories and if they aren't in compliance with appropriate regulations, then we help them get into compliance so that the trade can happen safely. This is important to me personally, with my background, I worked in a lab before this, so I've been on the other end of this and understood why, you know, people want to do things, maybe take shortcuts and get things faster, and maybe allow them to get their kits out a little bit quicker, but the danger in that, coming from now to the CBP side, is if we don't know what's happening, then we don't know how to treat it if something goes wrong. Detroit is kind of the leading front of this. We have a lot of targeters that are focusing on biologicals coming in and out of the country. We put a lot of effort into this and we have several universities that are nearby that tend to import and export a lot of biological material. So we want to make sure that if we have that set up to where it's all correct, then we can be an example for the rest of the country.